to order some wood. They gotta have the trees cut. They're out there every day. Building an ark. Could you imagine the conversation folk having with those boys? Oh, what y'all? What y'all doing? Man, look, we're building an ark. Why? Don't tell nobody, okay? Then it says, go rain. It's going what? It says, go rain. It's going what? It's going rain. What's rain? Rain is water from the sky. Water from the I know that. I got work to do, so every day, calling you. Building a boat. You can see folk talking to their wives. Didn't your um, daughter marry one of them? Talk your mother law, right? Didn't your uh, uh, daughter marry one of them normal boys? Yeah. Ain't they the ones out there every day? Cutting trees? Dragging, building that big old. Yeah, I told her. I said before, somebody didn't know that Noah family. Someone might like them from the beginning. <laughs> Every day they out there, and, and, and you can imagine the boys, because God only spoke to Noah. <laughs> they had, they lived in a time when you better trust your dad. You might think he's crazy. <laughs> But you better not say it. I don't know about y'all. I was raised in a different kind of era. Amen. I know you got kids right now. I will tell you, Amen. you must be crazy. I ain't about to go. But I realized there was a time I came up in, Amen. if you acted up, what my two licks going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> I get hit and I hit the floor. <laughs> in my teenage years, I don't recall, I was a relatively, I thought, a very good child. But my father, <laughs> my father told me one time as a teenager, he said, son, one of these days I'm going to take you in that backyard. I said, okay. He said, will we be in you? He said, and will we finish out there? He said, if you win, you get out of the house. <laughs> he said, and if I win, you go in the hospital. <laughs> I'm going to lose no matter what happens in this day. But what I'm establishing for you is that it's a time frame when, when the father says something, you just did it, whether you agree or not. Amen. But you still, now you still talk to anybody up in here had siblings, and your parents told you stuff, and you didn't agree, and you didn't like it, and you didn't say none of them, but you still told your brothers and sisters. I think he lost his mind. You tell dad I said that. Here you have. Every day they're working and they're building and every day only Noah has a message. And every day people stand around. And Noah's talking, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain. Get ready, get ready, help us build the ark. You can get on the boat if you believe in God. And if you went to the movies. <laughs> And saw Noah at the theater. Take an eraser and erase the memory out of your mind. There was a boat in the movie, there was water, but most of that junk on there has nothing to do with the Bible scripture. So don't be thinking, oh yeah, I remember Noah. No, you don't. If all you remember is a movie, you miss all of them more. Amen. But I want you to realize that every day they're building this ark, and the only one who knows what's taking place is Noah. And so they're working every day. For over a hundred years, they're working, and they're building, and they're working, and they're building. And Noah's preaching, get on board, work with us. It's going to rain, and they haven't seen rain in a day. They haven't seen rain in a month. They haven't seen rain in a year. They haven't seen rain in a decade. They haven't seen rain in five decades. 50 years passed and no rain. 80 years passed, no rain. 90 years passed, no rain. And folk are watching and thinking you are a joke. And your children are listening to you and following your instruction because they're respectful and they know they better follow your instruction because you've been the kind of a man who set an example they got to follow whether they like it or not. However, that don't mean they trust that you know what you're talking about. Amen. 
every day. He's the kind of a man who can be obedient to God when he can't see a drop of what God's talking about. Yeah. I want to talk to you about a real man who can stand strong when he's living in a world where nobody gets him, who can stand strong and be what he needs to be, no matter whether everybody understands, whether his wife gets it or his kids get it, it does not matter. He's got a commitment to something that's bigger and stronger and greater than himself to the point he will stand on what he understands, even if he's got to stand all by himself. That kind of a man is the kind of a man who's the father of us all. Adam was the first man, the father of all mankind. But I want you to realize we all come from Noah. Yes, sir. Because yes, he had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Jacob. And somehow you came out of the lineage of Noah. Amen. It takes something for a man to be the kind of a father he needs to be when the world he lives in is just as crazy as the one we're living in, but I don't want you to feel like somehow you're in a different place right now, that somehow, when you're like, that was back then and this is now. I want you to know crazy at your time frame in life is crazy at your time frame in life. What you think is crazy right now, in 20 years, you think we're saying. This world ain't getting better. It's actually getting a whole lot worse. And I want you to comprehend the reality that even right now, like God started over in Noah's day, he will wipe this thing clean. And he's going to end this whole world, and you really got to be careful and make sure you're standing with God, but you only do that. First of all, I advocate to every man, try to be the kind of a man like Noah. Don't be the kind of man you got buddies who's calling, man, you know, man, won't you come out and hang out, bro? You all locked up in the house, man. Your, your, your wife and your kids got you all locked up. Man, man, up, man, come out here. Well, you know, they ain't got me locked up. I, mean, I, I can go out when I want to go out. Well, come out with us, man. Come on. We're going to have a party tonight. Come and hang with the brothers. Well, I can hang with the brothers, man. You know, I can, I can, I can. Have enough gumption about yourself to say, I've decided I'm not going to stand with y'all. I'm going to stand with God. Yeah. Be the kind of a man that somebody can follow. I don't care how messed up Ham, Sham, and David was. They respected their daddy. They followed his lead. Why did they follow the man's lead? Because when a man sets an example with following all your life and he gets older and he tells you something, you will abide by it because you trust him if it doesn't make good sense. A man who stands where he needs to stand up can be the empowerment for his children even if they don't get what you're talking about. Right. Your kids won't follow you now and your wife won't follow you now because you ain't setting no example with following. Right. If you don't have a business, who's going to trust you? I don't know what's wrong with them kids. They won't do nothing I say do it. And, and she lost her mind. She won't do nothing I say do it. I, I just eat this all by myself. You know what? I'm just, that's why I don't go home half the time. That's why I don't bring my money home. That's why I'm taking my own stuff. I'm all on my own. All by myself. <laughs> stand where you got to stand. God has made men different than women. We are not the... I travel around the world doing workshops about the difference between men and women. We're not the same. That's right. We are different, and because we're so different, men can function different than women. They don't have the same kind of dependency at yeah. the time. Yeah. A man can stand and be strong by himself. Yeah. If you practice that. Yeah. But I want to advocate to every man, man up. Try to be like a noble. Everybody, all everybody do your job is out there cussing and acting crazy. You ain't got to act like that. Right. If all the men you know don't want to take care of their family, you ain't got to act like that. If you're a man you know is acting crooked and dumb and stupid, you don't have to act like every dumb, crooked, stupid man you've met. You can decide to be the man that God has called you to be. You can stand in a world all by yourself. As long as you know it's you and God together, you got to enjoy it. And when you know what the right step to take is, Take that step, and if everybody stand with you, praise the Lord. Everybody turn their back up on you, praise the Lord. Stand by yourself. Because a real man can be what he needs to be when nobody else can get in. But I do want you to know, when you set an example with following like Noah did for 500 years, and then had a chance to make a different decision, his wife, his sons, and his daughter-in-laws followed his lead because they trusted that Noah knew something they didn't know or they didn't trust him to that extent they respected him because of what he'd been all their lives 
That's what made him so strong. I can see in my imagination what happened in the end. A real man like this stands strong. They built this ark. They've got the animals inside. And they inside waiting. And they're waiting. Day one pass. Day two pass. What's that mean? Nah, they're throwing rocks. Day three pass. Day four pass. Finally, they get silent. It's raining. It's raining. Dad was right. It's raining. It's raining outside. And we're safe. We're inside. We're in the presence. We're in the safest place that we can put. Praise God. We're in the right. He was right. He was right. He was right. But now while you're inside and you're safe and you're secure, you have somebody you love on the outside beating on the door. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Open the door and let me in. And now that you're safe and now that you're secure and you're inside, all you can say, I'm sorry. I didn't believe God. I'm sorry. I love you. You're my lover. You're my brother. You're my sister. You're my friend. I would to talk to you. I would to share something with you. But I thought it was a joke. I didn't realize it was real. And now it's too late. I can't open the door to let you in. There are going to be people. There are people right now in your life. And God has put them in your life for one solid, solitary reason. That you might be the voice. That you might tell them, listen, I've got a father who told me I better get inside the ark. I've got a father who told me there's a place of safety. I've got a father that told me if I do what he says do, I'll be safe. But he told me it's not a message just for me. It's a message to give to you. I love you. I want you in the ark with me. And I'm not going to let you die and not know there's a better path than the one that you're taking right now. Every man, little boy, and girl has a message from your father. Yeah, yeah. And that message is get inside the ark. Yes, sir. The church now is that ark. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This is where you got to be. Amen. This is where safety can be found. Yeah, you, live, you think it's crazy now? For the Christian, for the Christian, being on this world is as close to hell as you ever gonna get. Amen. But for the non-Christian, being on this world is as close to heaven as you're ever going to get. God did not plan for you to be He planned for you to be saved. John 14, Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. He, he did his work. He's got a place ready for you. But you've got to decide. You want to be in that place. If you don't choose to be with God, you actually, I, I'm not going to make a decision. Baby, no decision is a decision. All right. To stay like you are is a decision to stay like you are. Amen. And you're going to stand in the presence of a God who loves you and wants to save you. But if you choose to reject him, if you choose to take your own path, if you choose to not decide to set him first, you actually choose by that decision to turn your back up on him and choose to make yourself long. I pray God give you all the time you want. I know he's just going to give you all the time you need. You're here this morning. If you're not a Christian, uh, I don't know. I have, we, we have auto insurance because something might happen. Mm -hmm. That house insurance because something might happen. I understand I'm living in a world where it's not all based on my choices. There's some folk out there that got less sins than I have. Mm -hmm. And I got to protect myself from the reality of the world I'm living in. I need a connection with somebody. If something goes wrong, can take care of stuff because I can't fix everything myself. Amen. I'm limited and I know that I'm limited. So are you. If you don't have a connection with your maker to the point that you know you're standing where he wants you to stand, he wants you to be what you need to be no matter what, and like he did the whole world in those days, you'll be lost just like that. If you're not a Christian, if you're not obeyed the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want to beg you to make a conscious decision right now to set God first. The Bible is so simple, you would actually need help to misread it. For you to become saved, the Bible says, Romans 10, 17, faith that saves comes from hearing the word of God. Once you hear the word of God, it helps you to acquire what we call faith. 